how you're doing now. I'm not. Come on, man. I'm just a regular guy. Thank you. Go home, please. Thank you. He's a regular guy who did a highly irregular thing, and a lot of people want to know who he is. He and another man bravely stepped between a snarling crowd and the police a week ago tonight in downtown Des Moines and brought a potentially violent protest to a peaceful end. Tonight in a KCCI 8 News exclusive, Steve Carlin has the special story of two pastors. Shortly before 9 p.m. on Sunday, May 31st, the scene was set along East 1st Street downtown outside Des Moines Police Headquarters. Two groups, one loudly expressing its anger over the police-involved death of George Floyd in Minnesota. The other, dozens of stone, silent police officers dressed in riot gear. The only thing standing between them was a short stretch of Court Avenue. We came to pray. That's when two local Latino church pastors, Ian Rojas and David Sixtos, stepped into the breach, but not to preach. The Holy Spirit took over us. Instead, armed only with their extreme faith, they started to calm the fevered crowd. But I was shaking, yeah. I, was, I was sweating, I was crying. They asked the protesters what they wanted. And all they're asking is just to take a knee. The police dropped to one knee, just like they were doing, in recognition of how George Floyd was killed. Pastor Sixtos knew it wasn't a simple request. It is a risk if they do that in front of, you know, people that are mad. At this point, you know, emotions are running high, so people are amped up. Des Moines Police Lieutenant Ryan Doty saw Rojas and Sixtos from his second floor office window and ran downstairs. I need to know who he is and what he just said that people are listening to him. Lieutenant came along, he's like, what are you doing? Sixtos and Rojas relayed the demonstrators' demand. They did it, why don't you guys do it? Doty liked the idea, but the crowd didn't like the delay. Take a knee! In such a moment, anything could have happened. When Doty called Chief Dana Winger to get the okay. They started yelling, hey, that's why we don't like you, that's why you don't have respect. You guys take a knee as well. <laughs> Wingert gave the thumbs up and the officers went down. You were there. It was so emotional that you don't even want to think, you know. And it was just such a such a precious moment where we were in between. In between, but soon surrounded by very appreciative protesters. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. The chief showed up as emotional as he was impressed. And us joining them in a symbolic way to kind of recognize uh, what had happened. That's the least we can do. God bless you, man. Then the demonstrators, so angry just 15 minutes earlier, started to leave. Not only did the crowd disperse, but I had many, many people within the crowd come up and shake my hand and tell me thank you. What happened that night on East First Street may go down as the first act of police protester unity during a very turbulent time in Des Moines history. And it was brought about by two tireless church pastors. It was such a beautiful moment. Who truly believe. Everybody here is fighting for justice and we love uh, our community. Steve Carlin, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.